Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to create a flat shadow effect. So what I have here first is my logo against a red background. And what we're going to do to create this um, flat shadow effect is use the blends uh, inside of Illustrator here, where it's right under your object menu, underneath blend. So the first thing I'm going to do is have my layer panel open. You can see I have my logo layer here first against a red background. I also have my swatch panel open and the two swatches that I'm going to be using are these two sort of reddish orange uh, swatches right here. I'm also going to be using the transparency panel. And what I'm going to use in there is the multiply effect just to sort of get that shadow effect going. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is select my main logo. And what I'm going to do is just hold down the option key as well as the shift key just to drag it off into place about 45 degrees. And then I'm just going to release and have a copy of it here. And what I'm going to do is select my original logo and just copy that by holding Command C. So I'm just going to copy it to the clipboard so that I can paste it in place afterwards. Uh, so right now what I'm going to do is select both of my logos here. And I'm going to go up to the object menu and go down to blend. And first I'm just going to go down to the blend options just so we can see what we're actually going to be using here. So what I'm going to use for this is the specified steps. And I want this blend to uh, have a really nice smooth transition between the two logos. Basically what it does is create a series of copies. So right now it's essentially going to create 300 copies to blend these two together. I'm going to kind of bump that up all the way to 800 for now, um, just so that I get a really nice smooth transition. And I'm just going to click OK. Now that I've set those options up, I'm going to go back to the object menu, back to blend, and I'm going to select make. Okay. So now you can see that my original logo is now blending in to the second logo using this white color. So what I'm going to do to get it to change into a shadow uh, sort of color of the background shape here is first I'm going to color it in with a light shade of gray. So I'll maybe choose the third last uh, gray swatch here in my grays color group. And then I'm going to go to my transparency panel and change the blend mode from normal to multiply. Okay. So you'll see right now that blend mode is actually taking the original background color and giving me sort of like a darker shade to it. So now that I've done that, what I'm going to do is now paste in place that original white logo that I had originally. So I'll go up to my edit menu and go and select paste in place. Okay. And then the last thing I want to do is just sort of create a little layer mask around this entire icon um, just so that this portion of my graphic becomes hidden. So what I'm going to do is select my background shape. I'm going to copy it, so Command C, and then I'm going to paste it in front, so Command F. Okay, And you can see in my layer panel, it's still at the bottom of my layer structure, but what I'm going to do is move that copy right up to the topmost object in my layer structure. And what I'm gonna do to complete this is make this top shape into a layer mask for all the shapes within my layer. So I'm gonna highlight my logo layer. And then at the bottom of the panel here, I'm going to click on Make Release Clipping Mask. And then what that does is keeps all of my uh, artwork visible through the actual mask and hides anything that goes beyond the bounding box. Okay. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this little quick tutorial. Feel free to leave any comments down below and let me know if you found this tutorial helpful.